Well, before we look at the issue around the issuance of foreign currency bonds by the Nigerian government, let's quickly take a look at the sugar tax um, situation that calls have been made for a raise in order to tackle some health deficiencies in Nigeria. And according to um, reports by the Corporate Accountability and Public Participation Africa, uh, this has actually sparked debate on how to tackle obesity and diabetes in Nigeria. Now, the report tilted, or titled rather, Potential Fiscal and Public Health Effects of Sugar Sweetened Berry Tax in Nigeria proposes a significant increase in SSB taxes from the current 10 naira per litre to 130 naira per litre. This morning, we shall examine the report and joining me to discuss this is Dr. Ogo Kiti, who is the CEO, Think Business. Um, thank you so much for joining us in our studios. Thank you so very much for having me this morning. So, Alcapa, a human rights group, advised the Nigerian government to increase SSB tax from 10 naira to 130 naira per litre, citing health concerns. From an economic point of view, what do you make of this call? Yeah, I think uh, the first thing to note is that that report is a very pivotal report uh, in the sense that uh, it helps us, it helps to raise the concern on the growth of obesity and uh, uh, diabetes in Nigeria. So that is a very, very good in that sense. However, there are three main challenges with that report. And uh, that was why uh, Think Business Africa actually uh, put out its own report uh, in relation to the sugar sweetening the beverages uh, tax uh, in Nigeria. The first is that the CAPA report was actually based on a very, very weak data. Uh, and of course, discrepancy data. Uh, for example, if you look at the data in which their BMI was actually based, and of course, looking at the consumption pattern data uh, that they did, uh, the, it, it's, not very, it's not consistent at all. Um, the BMI data, for instance, showed that uh, women are more obese in Nigeria compared to men. However, in terms of SSB consumption, men consume more SSB than women. That's number one. Then number two, in relation to data, if you look at the BMI data they, that they actually used, it was an aggregation of so many surveys since 1990. Uh, in a report such as this, it would have been very, very helpful if they had taken a survey of just maybe even just 100,000 people or 50,000 people and monitored those people over time in relation to both their BMI and their consumption pattern. But taking static uh, data from BMI and matching them with the consumption of uh, 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 SSB on a single year does not allow for good comparison. So that's number one. Secondly, uh, the challenge with that uh, report is that it gives us the impression that we can always use dedicated fiscal policy to solve all our problems. Oh, we already have education tax, we have SSB tax. So now the SSB tax of 10 naira per litre, which came into force in 2022, we are now, ask, we are now asking it to increase it by 1,200% uh, in a single year. So we cannot use dedicated fiscal policy to solve all our problems, and that is definitely the case in, the, in such as SSB because it's very, very complex. Uh, uh, so that is the number two. And also, in relation to fiscal policy, it is totally contrary to what I believe the president is trying to do at the moment through the presidential policy, sorry, the presidential committee on okay. fiscal policy and taxation. So it's actually contrary to that. We should wait for that committee to reduce all the complex taxes that we have and streamline them before we start talking of any increases in sugar tax anymore. Then the third aspect is that if you look at uh, uh, if you look at uh, the report very, very well, you will understand, it will be very, very clear that any increases will not solve the original problem in the first place. Okay. So, yeah. uh, uh, doctor, let's, let's keep it at that and yeah. quickly scale on to other areas. Now, uh, would you have supported Kappa's argument for 130 naira per litre tax increase on sugary drinks if their data, despite a narrow approach, convincingly demonstrated a link to health problems? Okay, so uh, thank you very much for that wonderful question. In other countries, what they have done is that they have tried as much as possible to understand that data more than we have done. Uh, so if you look at the BMI data, BMI data is much, much complex. 
um, is much more complex than just uh, sugar tax. Uh, so for every other country, so Nigeria can definitely not be, uh, it, it cannot be different. Um, in relation to SSB consumption, it accounts for only 5.1% of sugar consumption in Nigeria. So there's no way the data would have shown that direct causation. However, the improvement in data will help us to understand what is a much more broad and complex problem, and okay. we can better design the policy to tackle it. So that's what you would have done, yes. All right. Uh, Dr. Ogo Kiti, um, CEO Think Business, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us on the show. Thank you.